For me, the best thing of every animal is the organs. You want that heart? Mm. Good afternoon everyone, I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you from wet Sao Paulo. It's starting to rain and if it doesn't rain when you're in Sao Paulo, you weren't in Sao Paulo. That's what my boy was telling me right here. And today we're doing something really special. We're finally eating Brazilian meat. We're going here to Picanheria do Gaucho. What does that mean? Man, the Gaucho is like people from uh, south of Brazil, uh, Rio Grande do Sul state. That's uh, people that are born in this state, they call it a gaúcho. So it's like Sao Paulo, the uh, paulistas, from Rio it's cariocas, and from Rio Grande do Sul state, they're gaúchos. Let's eat some picanha, which is the tarp salon steak, maybe some ancho, and a lot of side waters. It's, uh, it's a place to have a good meal. It's an experience, right? Yeah, that's my favorite restaurant in the, in the north of Sao Paulo. All right, here we go. I'm loving this restaurant already. As you can see, open air restaurant. There's like 40 tables here. Everybody's spread out. It's on the corner of this block. The air is coming through. I like it because it's a good breeze. And in the back, we have the barbecue. They're doing non-stop meat. Bom dia, bom dia. Posso? Yeah, he's just seasoning the top salon steak, which is the picanha. We also call rump steak, right? And basically the Brazilian barbecue is just rock salt. That's it. That's the big difference between the Brazilian barbecue to the rest of the world. And what's over here? Yeah, here is just like roast chicken known as frango assado. We also call this as the dog's TV. Because there are a lot of bakeries and restaurants on the street. When they set the dog's TV on the corner, on the sidewalk, dogs like staring at the dog's TV, yeah. like starving for the, the roast chicken. I mean, the smell is unbelievable. Yeah. The aroma just hits you. It's really amazing. The salt. This is the best part about Brazilian meat, the salt. Just kosher salt, right? Kosher salt? Yes, rock salt. Rock salt, rock salt. Rock salt. Okay, rock salt. Uh, rock salt. Yeah, rock salt. That's it. And it's picanha. Picanha. Are we ordering or what? Yes. Yes. We're gonna order the bife ancho, picanha, polenta. French, French rack. Yeah, like the lamb. And also the pão de alho, that's the garlic, bread. the garlic bread that I love. And this is a typical Brazilian steakhouse. Here we have an amazing selection of different meats and organs. We're getting yeah, mommy, heart. Yeah. Oh, what is this? So this is called dry tip. So it's very salty beef. I don't know exactly what part. The texture and taste is similar to roast beef, but it also has some fatty parts. Yeah, for me it's uh, right next to the salon. I'm gonna die here in Brazil, bro. This is incredible. Mm. Salty, juicy. Love the textures, man. So, David, you must try this beer. It's called Original, and it's my favorite beer in Brazil. So, this is for you. Wow. Saúde. Saúde. All right, so there's a Pilsen, right? Yeah. Oh, nice light beer. Yeah. Mm, but it tastes, tastes good. Good. Different. Oh. Beach beer, mm, very smooth, it's actually pretty good. You know, I'm not into the macro breweries, but every time I travel to a different country, I want to try their beer. I want to see what they're all about. You know, nice, smooth, crispy, only like 4.2%, I'm sure. Mm. Smooth, man, smooth. This is good. It's called Original, but... It's a group, Antarctica bought Brahma and became the biggest, the largest brewer company called Ambev. So they bought a lot of uh, beer companies all over the world. We have a uh, heart of palms and tomato and lettuce uh, salad, polenta, uh, top salon steak or rump steak, ancho, lamb chops or French rack, chicken hearts, garlic bread and curd cheese and some mint sauce oh my for God. the lamb chops. And that's it, right? Yeah, that's it. Not, not enough food at all <laughs> for three people. I have to start off with my favorite thing of all time, lamb. Look at this. Oh, man. This is epic. I love it. Don't the ribs of the lamb. And the salt is always rock salt, right? Always rock salt. Mm. The smokiness, juicy, tender, and fatty. Mm. Oh wow. 
To be honest, dude, I eat the whole plate. Oh yeah, the whole plate. Mmm. Pack cleanser, polenta. Mmm. I'm a huge fan of polenta. So good. Italian, right? Italian all the way. Italian, yeah. In case you guys don't know what polenta is, it's basically cornmeal. Sometimes they refer to it as porridge. In Italy, they love it. I've been growing up with that. You know, I ate it like my whole life. My grandmother used to give me this with Parmesan. You can have it baked, fried. So freaking good. Wow. Take that away from me, bro. To be honest, I don't love putting this stuff on the meat. The meat me has to be neither. eating. It tastes the, the, the it, meat yeah. taste. You need the meat taste. You need yeah. that salty, you need the juices. This is to hide the meat taste when the meat's no good, I think. Picanha, top sirloin. Wow, the taste of Brazil in a bite. In some certain places you go, like when you travel abroad, uh, it's almost impossible to find this type of cut. So unless you know like uh, any Latin American uh, bachelor, like usually from Venezuela, uh, they know. Uh, it's called picanha. So we're very proud about this cut. The only Brazil has. For me, the best thing of every animal is the organs. You want that heart? Mm. It's dense. It's so different. Not bloody at all. So good. Ooh. So this is curd cheese. Curd cheese. Super dense. Yeah. It's not smoky. Obviously the grill. And this is like the most traditional cheese of Brazil right in, here. In, in northeast of Brazil. No, northeast of Brazil. Northeast. Yeah, northeast. It's a good quality cheese. Melts. Yeah. No good doesn't melt. Yeah. So this is good. This is good. Wow. It builds the taste, right? It builds up. I mean, the barbecue taste is so different. You know, at my house, even if my dad bought, you know, Brazilian meat, it would never taste like this. Just the way you guys do it, man. So this is very common in Argentina and Uruguay. Obviously, it comes from the south of Brazil on the border, right? It's tastier. It's more juicy. Yeah. I think it was a little more medium rare, and, right? And ancho, it, it's more juicy and it's more fat. I like it. The last thing we have to try is garlic bread. So, butter, herbs, and bread. Mm. Oh, wow. That's so tasty with the herbs. Mm. I love the bread in the Balkans, but here too. Incredible. The picanha is so addictive. The salt level is outstanding. If you don't like salt, it's gonna be hard for you. But if you like it, it's the best. It's heaven. Wow. My favorite. Raga lamb. Oh. The reason why this lamb is so good is because here in Brazil, they have lamb. It's not like in the United States that we import it from like Australia and New Zealand. It's always frozen and you can taste the difference. It's super fresh. Mm. Whoa, the smokiness, man. This is the best. Remember, always take the meat directly from the bone. Mm. So the tastiest part is right here. Well, I'm mean, a carnivore, man. A dog. I like to dig in the, the, the meat that stick in the bone, like this. I call lamb lollipop. Some people think the heart is adventurous. It's actually not. It's just an, another organ, delicious. So tasty. For me, the organs, number one. Palmito, we produce here, no, as no as a heart of palm. Crocante, crunchy. Next, we are going to Avenida Paulista, is one of the main avenues of Sao Paulo and where everything happens. So you were saying it's like the fifth avenue of Brazil? Exactly, that's the place we are going now. I gotta tell you guys, when you eat meat, don't eat too much. Because yeah. it just drops you to the floor. I almost yes. died. Like right now, I need a coffee. I'm so tired. <laughs> oh my god, but the meat was so good. The salt? Yeah, we're gonna eat so much water tonight. Tonight, I drink water like crazy. Because yeah. now, you know, you wake up like, like dying. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
This street here is called Luis Drummond Villares and is one of the main avenues here in the north of Sao Paulo and now we are taking the way to Paulista Avenue and we should arrive there in the next 26 minutes. Everything here in Sao Paulo is around a 30 minute drive. Obviously taking count for traffic, it, you can add another 30 minutes. Oh, you know, always. Just depends, you know, today's Saturday, obviously less traffic during the week. It's, you know, crazy traffic. And over here, we have street food vendors. And just so you know, this is the north of Sao Paulo. This is more locals, no tourists up here. The yeah. restaurant we just were at, there was no tourists, yeah. nothing, all locals. It's true experience. Except you, right? Except me. <laughs> I was the only extranjero. Yeah, I was the only extranjero. No extranjero. Guy. Yeah. How was the experience there? Dude, I loved it. I loved it. Just super salty. But I can, for me, more salt the better. Okay. With, I, with the steaks? Oh. I love it. Too. The meat? Yeah, here in this area, we have some really cool buildings, uh, like some street art, like graffitis. So it's like the other side of the city, right? Like North Zone. This is another residential area we're in. Commercial on the street, but behind we have a lot of skyscrapers, all residential towers. Just condos, condos, condos everywhere. Everywhere. And you were saying the soccer stadium's here in this yeah. area? Yeah, so that's the first soccer stadium in Sao Paulo City. And what's it called? It's called it Pacaembu. All right guys, so we stopped here quickly at the Estadio Municipal. So the stadium, we're gonna get a little bit of coconut. Love it, I love coconut water. It's the best. He's gonna cut it for us right here. This is this is awesome, dude. His car, yeah, all the cocos. That's the Bahia. Car. Gr great advertising. All right, my friends. Okay. It's like I'm back in Kerala. Oh wow, this has so much. Oh, it's ice cold. He has it in a cooler, obviously with ice. Yeah. He's frozen. This is the best thing in the world. For me, I rather have this over water, and it's super. Hydrating, you know? Yes. And you know, it reduces the bad cholesterol. Anything natural will always be better for you. Oh, this it's is so like, good, bro. It's kind of like na natural, natural Gatorade, right? Natural Gatorade, exactly. Yeah. And, but he doesn't bring it, it from Bahia, right? He brings it from it, here? Electro, it, electrolytes, 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 exactly. Electrolytes. But he doesn't bring this from Bahia, right? No. He brings from I say below Bahia State, which is a Spirito Santo State, below. And also wow. well known for like an amazing pineapple, like Hawaii does, like Hawaii, you know. Oh wow, man, mm -hmm. this is amazing. So cold. Yeah. And usually you have to have cash, right? But here in Brazil, everybody can pay with card anywhere. Yes, I'm feeling better about my sleep. Yeah, I was so tired, but this gave me energy. Yeah. Oh my God. Estados Unidos. Mi Miami. Miami. Going, Going to, to Miami. Bienvenido. <laughs> the best part about the coconut is once you're done drinking it, he'll cut it open and give you the flesh. Taking it directly off the knife. Look at that flesh. Huge. Huge. And there's a quarter. Oh my God. The thing with this is that it's so filling. Yes. And the point of That's a lot of fat, it. right? Mm -hmm. really Good fat. Uh, like ah. avocado. This is the best. Ah, uh, For me, have a smoothie every day, put this inside. Ah, yes. You can also do like a coconut flake, coconut mm -hmm. oil, you mm -hmm. know. We even put in the hair. Look at the size of this flesh, so thick. He has like a good supplier, you know, you can tell. Because uh, it's not everywhere you go, you get like good stuff like his uh, coconut. That's really impressive. The size of the flesh in this coconut is insane. Obrigado. Okay, de nada. To be honest, I don't even know how I ate that. I was so far from the steak. Woo! The meat filled me up. That just took me over the edge. Okay guys, let's go see the main avenue. This neighborhood is called Jardins. It's uh, one we are one block away to Paulista Avenue. It's and that's my favorite place in Sao Paulo to live and to eat, to go in the restaurants. Yeah, so it is made up of never any skyscrapers and trees and the wires, man. Oh my God, look at all the wires, the electrical wires. So yeah. many just like hanging everywhere. This is, this is like a concrete jungle for real. Yeah. But a mix because you're in the, you're a concrete jungle within the jungle. In the jungle. Because this used to be entirely jungle. Exactly. The whole thing. Like in the beginning of 16th century. The world is amazing. It's summer. It's December. It's cool. It rained earlier, and that's yeah, why it's yeah, cool, right? Yeah, now it's a little bit cloudy. Yeah, it's a perfect for a, like a long walk on the Paulista Avenue. And this is made up of like banks, right? Lots of banks here. Yeah, we have banks, headquarters of uh, big companies, 
houses and the jardins area. Okay, and lots of trees. A lot of trees, yeah. restaurants, everything. Pe people think Sao Paulo is just a concrete jungle. No, there is a lot of trees. A lot of trees, greens, parks is not only concrete. Perfect. And how far to the avenue? We are one block away from the avenue. We just go here and then we're gonna make a left and we are in Avenida Paulista. So we are right now in the heart of Paulista Avenue and just to have an idea is 2.9 kilometers from one side to the other and in this avenue we have a three different uh, subway stations and it's as I told you it's 24 7 and I love here so look how big is the avenue so yeah like you're saying huge avenue lots of buildings skyscrapers in the middle you have this path there's a bike path also you can walk on it over to the right over to the left all commercial all commercial spaces you have bars gelato places obviously starbucks there banks mcdonald's so fast food a lot of big american chains it's a beautiful avenue this yeah dude this is basically like the fifth avenue like one just huge street this is where all the wealth is this, this makes brico avenue look it, look like bad yes <laughs> this is it, huge it's, it's the finance uh part of the yeah city. financial district yeah financial and, district. and yeah definitely be careful be careful where we are because because the bike yeah. just keep blazing by really really fast so i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk around we're gonna see some more of the commercial area and then we're gonna have a craft beer from brazil the one thing you have to be aware of when you're walking right here in the center see the literally be on the line if not you can get hit out of nowhere there's somebody rollerblading somebody on a bike obviously you're around taking photos perfect place to take photos the problem right now is there's a lot of overcast so the images when you point up really dark point low too much street but it's an awesome place what we're gonna do now we're gonna cross over we're gonna see all these vendors there's like 20 different vendors there they're sending selling everything from like souvenirs to like sodas let's cross right here we have some like vendors selling everything like uh things from booklets some art craft yeah for me i'm just looking for stuff for my kids let's see if we find anything for our little girls so this guy over here is selling some awesome art books so like sketchbooks right one of them had you know the joker really amazing and then this guy made like airplanes out of aluminum cans but he has like you know this is like from star wars look at this a lot of toys like handcraft look take a look it's a mix of souvenirs all artisanal crafted right most of it yeah this is like little barbies or not barbies but like yeah, you know, but dolls she, but she creates the the dress right the, oh she creates the dress yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Right that's amazing yeah and then next to it you have like you know some cacti some yeah. dresses that, that this guy or this lady has scarves for dogs exactly. random that's super random my favorite thing is baby group yeah yeah, they, baby they group. Mario a lot. Look, Spider-Man awesome. and uh, Mario, Super Mario. Really cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but these aren't toys. These are like just little like uh, statues. And you know? souvenirs. Souvenirs. In case you guys don't know, McDonald's came to Brazil in 1979, and the 1,000 store is that one right there. It says number 1,000, right? 1, and it was an old mansion basically on this boulevard. That's interesting. Yeah. We are here at the Maspi, the Museum of Art in Sao Paulo, and that's the most important art museum of European art in South America. I love the architecture of this building. Look at this. Under it, it's like a square. It's held up by four pillars plus the elevator, and then at the very end, you have a view over the city of Sao Paulo because we're about 800 meters high. And right now they're setting up, I guess it's a market for tomorrow. What is this? Yeah, actually tomorrow, every Sunday we have a ticket market over here. It's from like 9 to 5 p.m. And more than this, I really recommend a visit at this museum here because you can see Van Gogh, you can see Picasso, Raphael, and many, many artists from every part of the world. Next, we are going to a place called Bar do Urso and we are going to try some Brazilian craft beers. Okay. Good? Good, I love that place. I heard many good things about the Brazilian craft beers. They like their pioneers of, Brazil, of craft beers in South America. Yeah, and here, especially in Sao Paulo, you can find the best ones. Awesome. This place is alive. So many people, lots of vendors. You got music, you have bars, restaurants, and right here we have the bar. Bar do? Okay, it's like a little bear. So this is a Vergeria Colorado, which is basically Colorado brewery from Ribeirão Preto. That's the city, right? They have four different beers on draft. They have a lager, IPA, session IPA. They also have an Imperial IPA. 
by the bottle. It's like 9.5%, right? 9.5% ABV, right? And then they also have a porter, which looks amazing. But I'm gonna try this one because I like strong beers. 9.5, efficient, dude. Stay efficient. <laughs> this is called Vikshnu. Imperial IPA, mmm, tasty. Oh wow, what do I have here in terms of taste? It's not crazy hops, it's not like a double, and it's not too bitter, it's just clean, very clean, smooth. To be honest, you don't even taste the 9.5. 9.5, and this is uh, 16 ounces, right? So the reason why it tastes very honey-ish is because it has rapadura, which is a type of sugar, right? Yeah man, it's like a, a sweet Imperial IPA. Ooh, it's like double hopped. Okay, well, I know and, exactly what it is. It's Caña de Azúcar, right? Yeah. Amazing beer, man. Congrats. Okay, so same beer, but this is not the Imperial IPA. This is regular IPA. Yes, a lot easier to drink. But that one's actually sweeter. I like that one better. And for efficiency levels, you go with the stronger one. And this one was 24, right? So like four, almost $5 for the beer. This one's like three dollars U.S. Urso Bar. It's owned by uh, the biggest, the largest brewer company, which is Ambev. And Ambev bought their main beer, which is Cervejaria Colorado from Ribeirão uh, City, which is in the São Paulo County. All right, guys. I had my real first true Brazilian steakhouse experience. We tried picanha, chicken heart, lamb chops. Oh, heart of palm. What else? Ancho. Ancho. Curd cheese. Polenta. So delicious. Delicious. Man, one of the highlights was like uh, staying by the grill, just watching the guys cooking. Yeah. Roasting the meat, right? No, it's amazing. The Beautiful. aroma hits you. I mean, you, exactly. it's, a, and it's a real local experience. It's like an experience besides eating, right? Yeah. We ate about three kilos for sure. And this place isn't where the tourists go. This is where no, locals. Just locals. Eat. Okay. Uh, we have to thank Aurelio, our local guy that Ooh. took us there, right? Be my guest in Sao Paulo. And man, it was amazing. And then what we came I over repeat. here. <laughs> <laughs> and then we came here to the center to this avenue. Exactly. Paulista Avenue is one of the main tourist attractions in Sao Paulo. Man, it's a must. Yeah. You know, I love this city. So huge avenue, you know, financial district. Exactly. Walk around, buy some souvenirs, see the museum if you have time. I didn't have time today. Obviously, we're on a schedule. Yeah. But I mean, really, really cool. I, I really feel the heart of the city is here. Yes. Time flies, man. I know. I know. One day is not enough. Too much. Too much. And then I Too finished much to it off. <laughs> and then I finished it off here at Cerveceria Colorado. Traditional craft beer. beer. From Brazil, from uh, Sao Paulo County, a city called Ribeirão Preto. We all know for the Brazilian Hollywood, they produce amazing craft beers. I tried their Imperial IPA, really strong, 9.5%. Yes. If you have to eat before this, because if not, it hits you. Exactly. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this experience in Sao Paulo, Brazil. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. And my man, hey. Thank you very much. Thank you.